Alright, I just recorded a video on how my bot works, um, but I'm going to be focusing on the piano now instead. Um, I have this application called Piano From Above. A lot of people from the Black MIDI team use it. I'm going to stick it to my other monitor and change screens. Um, that one. No, that one. There we go. I'm bad at this. Um, you can pick any song. Um, any MIDI will work, but if you try to use a MIDI that's too big, it will uh, kick you. And if you don't, make sure that you extend the note quota, which I have in a Temper Monkey script right here. Um, all it does is just throw this in after a certain amount of time. Um, I should say when it's on client out on high instead of set timeout. Because that's not exactly how you're supposed to do things with the bots. But, um, let's say if I were to run something like Shrig Scan. I would pick the MIDI, I would make sure I hit the uh, play with custom settings, or whatever it's called, and then I always mute the drums because they sound horrible, and then I click play, it'll load the MIDI, as you can see if I turn this down you can see the notes here, I have it running through a port, uh, let me open the options, I have it running through an audio port here, through loop MIDI, which is just, um, it's just a virtual thing you can get from somewhere. It's called Loop MIDI. You download it and you install it, and then you're able to change your. It's it's like a virtual MIDI port, where you can go from one thing to another without a literal cable. And if you've set up multiplayer piano correctly, it should show up here. Um, which you can just fix if you go to your. Chrome settings or your uh, flags. Say in Chrome it would be Chrome colon slash slash flags, and then you want to find this um, insecure origins treated as secure, and then you see unsafely treat insecure origin as secure. Uh, you want to type exactly this into the box, and then make sure this is set to enabled. I'm not sure if it has to be set to enabled if this is in the box, but I'm just I have it on just just in case. Um, anyway, that being said, um, it will work, so if I play it, you should hear the audio. Uh, let me fix that. It's gonna be a little bit laggy because of the way I'm doing this. You can see it's playing through here. Uh, it looks like my, my... No quota bypass isn't working because I switched rooms. That's why you should use client out on high. But wait, no. Sorry, it's it's three AM as you can see. As you can see this this bar down here will tell you if if you have no quota on or off, it'll, um, if it turns orange on this side and it starts going down, that means that your note quota is still capped and you should change the points to infinity. And then some other midi midis, some other midis that I edited, like, uh, Nyan Trololo, um, I updated for multiplayer piano so that it doesn't kick you. Because usually it has big spam on the left side of the piano, and it's too much for a multiplayer piano to handle, so it'll just kick you from the room, it'll push you into offline mode, and then you'll rejoin, and you won't have a no quota fix. And a lot of these are just... A lot of these I found on the internet. I'm gonna switch now to Tetris, which I made. Hopefully, all right, good. There it goes. All 
I really like this one because, well, I mean, how could you not? It's Tetris. I do have a complete library of um, Super Mario 64 midis that were exported from a ROM directly. I sound like complete shit when I'm recording. Trust me, I'm a normal person. <laughs> it's also very cold in my room. I'm not sure if it'll kick me this time because I'm recording. Okay, it didn't. I got all of it in. Um... I guess that's it. I guess I explained everything pretty well, except for, um, my real piano, which I have. Which I... Hmm. Whatever. Bye.